welcome to Maria Loves to Talk. Thank you for joining me today. Nope, I'm not doing perfume, but I'm doing a lot of food. The theme is Costco versus Sam's Club. Sam's Club versus Costco. Which big box store gives you the most for your money? The bang for the buck. Who should be shopping there? Singles, married people, people with a lot of kids, people who have businesses. You're vegan. If you're not vegan, you're you're uh, gluten-free, non-GMO. Hey, or if you're like us, we have both of the cards, yes, because we're greedy, okay? And we'll go Monday, looking for a sale, Tuesday, maybe Friday, or like me, I went. I think I went three times this week. So hey, if there's something you're interested in, I need you to click like and subscribe, and let's get into it, yes. Okay, so let's start... Um, with some things I bought this week. And if you're like me, I don't know, you might be, you might not be, but if I see something and it says discount or clearance and then I get up to the register and they tell me, oh no, it's not there. I'm going to the customer desk. So this week uh, I went and then I went back again. I found this. Uh, this is called uh, Limited Edition Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch. I think it's like a cinnamon, cinnamon crunch. And you know this uh, is like six something. I think I went back at 648. And uh, the lady was like, no, it's four something. It's 482. But the sign said 281. And then there was a monster uh, cereal that was also, it had 281. So make a long story short. I went to the customer desk and she uh, ring it up for 281. Went back yesterday. <laughs> yes. And they had a whole pallet of these. And I think I think it was six or five something. And then the regular cinnamon crunch. And you and of course you're getting two big family bags, two fa two family boxes was 6.48. So I made a killing on this one. If I would have known that, I would have got some more. Uh, I'm not really a cereal person, so we're probably gonna give this to either my sister or one of my little cousins. The next thing that I know, it wasn't on sale, but I get it every year, Kiwis, and this is called Golden Kiwis 5.98. Where can you get? all these kiwis and this is gold and it's a special key especially kiwi for $5.98 and it is yummy you guys okay so that's that's one and as i get do them i'm gonna just throw them to the side so when i went back yesterday and i found the cereal i looked and looked for this we buy it every year and as you can see that i eat a lot of sweets we eat a lot of sweets this is called Old Fashioned Hand Dip Peanut Brittle. And it, and uh, both of these was from Sam's Club. Uh, so I picked it up for $10.98. And for the last five years, it's been $9.98. So they went up on it a little bit. And then I also picked up um, a salad, which that's really what I should be eating, the salad. And this salad, it's called Maple Crunch. This is a new flavor. It's by Taylor Forrest, Maple Dijon Crunch. And I picked it up for $2.98. Normally, I think I thought it was $3.98, but it's $2.98. And it sounds really good. Um, broccoli stock, dried apples, green leaf lettuce, red cabbage, uh, cheddar cheese, green onion. Now, that's one thing I can tell you about. And I'm not going to make a difference, even though I've worked at both stores, yes, as a demo food person, or as they say, lunch lady, some people call it. So I, I kind of know about some of these things. So the, the salad was $2.98, Sam's. Then I went back earlier in the week and picked up this salad, and this one is called Kale Salad. In fact, I need to eat it. We need to eat it. I'm, I'm going to fry fish, catfish later on. And the kale salad was, uh, golly, 
was 234. So this was 234, and then the, the apple crunch, maple crunch was 298. And they also have an avocado salad, a Caesar salad, a, the Asian salad. But my point is, Sam's got one on Costco because Costco does not carry this. Uh, I know I caught the kale salad at Aldi's, and when I looked, I'm like, why is the Aldi's kale salad white? Everything was white, 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 while here you're getting green, green, green. So this is Sam's. This is the kale. Okay, so moving on, my next one I picked up here was, and I should be scratching these off, and yes, I have fried rice, you guys, because that's something that we love to eat. No, this is, wasn't on sale, but this is Sam's Club, and this is an everyday price. $2.98, it's called La Costanina, La Costanina. I was looking for jalapenos everywhere the other day, like last weekend. Went to the 99 cent store, they didn't have it. Went to the Dollar Tree, they didn't have it. And then they had one in a can, but it was the big whole ones. I do not like those. I just went maybe a month ago and bought a little bottle of the jalapenos, maybe about half the size of this for like $2 at, Wal at Walmart. So this whole big bottle jar, $2.98, okay? Okay, so moving on, my next one. Yes, I love Tabasco. Tabasco. Everybody in my family puts this, not so much me, but my, my relatives and, and other family members put this Tabasco on everything from eggs, catfish, grits, fried chicken. It's already spicy, but... It is a staple. This one here, I picked that up at Sam's and I went there for one thing and bought all this stuff. The Tabasco was on sale for $1.81. And this is a big bottle. I bought this the other day for a little bit over a dollar I forgot where i got it but it was a little bit over a dollar and this is what this one looked like a dollar 81 and it was discounted and you know that dollar 81 and this was a dollar something 10 ounce versus 12 ounce and it's a quality hot sauce can't beat it you guys okay moving on I think we all know what this is, especially if you're a person who is into health food, uh, you're into the alkaline, Bragg's Organic Apple Cider vinegar, vinegar. I just picked this one up. I think I maybe got it either at Walgreens or Randall's. It was like five something, 570. Turn around. Found it on clearance. I don't know why it's on clearance because the expiration date is like next year, like the end of maybe 2023. Guess how much I picked this up for? Guess how much? This was $2.16. Sam's. $2.16 expiration april 13 2026 that is why you guys we keep two cards and normally i give one to a family member like one of my baby sisters or sister-in-law okay my next one okay i already did my peanut brood i'm trying to move it out the way also i don't know if you can see this and I will put it up where you can, but this is some Kirkland's water uh, or Costco water. If I'm not mistaken, and I just saw it, the Sam's water is, oh wow, I just had it, 358. 
you get 45 in a case. Where can you get spring water 45 in a pack, 45 or 48 for $3.58? When we had that snowstorm or the ice storm, when we had the, the floods a while back, uh, we always keep an extra couple of cases. Now at Costco, uh, there are Kirkland's, their water, the same one, it's a little bit cheap. It's not that much. It's, I think for a, a case of 45 or 48, it's like 313 and then Sam's uh, is 358. I just saw it the other day. Uh, but what got me was I went to drink some water this morning. I saw this. No, you can see it almost looked like plastic or glue. And then I saw some little black, little black shreds. And I went to touch and when I pull it here, this isn't, I don't know what it is, but it's it's inside the it's inside the water. So that was just one out of the case, so I don't know what that what, what that was, but I'm gonna take it and let them see, cause you guys, I don't know. Okay, so moving on to my next, and they're microwavable. Um, also, there's no bacon in this, so I tried, and again, I eat both of them. You know, whatever I can catch on sale. So now I went back yesterday. Now they've made it members mark at Sam's Club. The chicken has never been grilled. It doesn't have the little black marks. Uh, it also, it has bacon. But what I noticed, cause I'm greedy, I'm greedy. I didn't notice that many pieces of chicken in it. Now with the Costco, the one I get at Costco, that's normally in a one bag, it's about eight pieces, a nice little pieces of chunky chicken. Here, yesterday when I ate it, I counted like four or five pieces of chicken in the bag. So I don't know what up with, what's up, but I will tell you, $8.98, Members Mark Sam's everyday price now on this. And then this one, $11.99 at Costco, unless you can get it on sale where they take like 2 or $3 off. Okay, so moving on. Next big find at Sam's Club on the borders. If you eat a lot of nachos, you, you have parties, birthday parties, you cannot beat this. The on the border salsa, let's see, gosh. That was um, 181, 181 for all of this? You guys, really? I think I, if I'm not mistaken, I bought like six of them. And on the vinegar, I bought two. I kept one and gave one to one of my uh, cousins who's into doing the alkaline and all that. So yes, you you can't beat that. Um, what did I do with my receipt? I just had my receipt. I've already used this. I picked this up the same day that I got the salsa. It was three of them. This is organic certified, and I was shocked. This was from Sam's Club. The, the marinara sauce. Uh, let's see, where is that marinara sauce? 281? 281? Where can you get? Three bottles of organic marinara sauce for two dollars and eighty-one cents, you guys. I, I, I'm, I'm serious. This, this is Sam's. Okay, let me do my little snacks. As you know, as I said, I am greedy. I get all my goodies at um, Costco. So this Costco, this is cashews, Kirkland's cashews. Um, with coconut. It is so yummy. I think this was like $8.98. No, it wasn't on sale. And then the Kirkland's, as you see, your girl ate it all up. Macadamia. They went up to $11.99. When I first started, uh, when I did the demos at Costco, this was like, if I'm not mistaken, it was like nine. Now it's like a tw 12. So it went up. You know, hey, it it is what it is. Things go up, you know. Moving on, Frank's Red Hot 
sauce. I told y'all we love hot sauce here. Frank's Red Hot 281. I bought like 10 of these. And that's what I like about with Sam's. There's no um, limit. When you see something, you're able to just pounce on it pretty much. Uh, so let me just see right here. I talked about the water. I talked about the apple cider. Uh, let's see. I know you're thinking, you're making this like everything is Sam Sam's. What about Costco? Okay, batteries. My nephew just started at Costco a few months ago. He just couldn't stop talking about the batteries because he's a gamer. No, I don't have any batteries, but I went online and the Kirkland's batteries are the best. They're basically Duras, I think it's Duracell. They, I think they're made out of the same plant. And I saw with a triple A, $10.99 a pack on sale, $48 in a pack. And then the double A, $10.99, $48 in a pack. Where, where can you get that? You, you, I don't know. <laughs> that is a sale. Okay, we talked about my cereal orange juice someone was telling me at work will you do another orange juice video i'm like oh i don't know <laughs> this is organic this is from um costco that's one of the main things if i don't get anything when i go to costco i get the water and i get this organic orange juice and yes you see you get two in a pack this um one thing on orange juice, if you go to Walmart or if you go to uh, Randall's or something like that, can be anywhere from three something to six dollars. Two of these, uh, I believe it was like eight ninety eight. Okay, and I love this orange juice, and it's not really sweet. You know, some of them be just sweet and sugary. Also, this is the Sam's Club orange juice. Uh, it's called Members Mark. Uh, this is also good. It's kind of something similar to Simply uh, Orange Juice. And I don't remember the price, but it wasn't high. I don't believe it was as high as the organic. The eight ninety eight probably was like 5 or 6 but whatever, it is a good price. Okay, what is this? I bought two of these. Two. They came two in a pack. This is Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Wash Honey Mango. And I gave one to my um, cousin and one to my next door neighbor. Okay, so the body wash was, golly, how much was this body wash? It was, I just saw it. Uh, $3.81. Where can you get two big bottles of body wash for $3.81? Sam's Club, you guys. Sam's Club. Okay, moving on. Um, dude, okay, we're on the water. I got a red hot Tabasco, my salad, my fried rice. I don't have my dumplings, but I saw this and I was trying when I see things I'll be trying to let people know in the store I saw this I'm not that big of a mashed potato person but when I saw it for that price I had to get it Idaho buttery homestyle mashed potatoes eight pouches and this was a dollar 81 so I pounce on this one I, I don't know how many I bought about eight of them then turn around, I saw this, and I need somebody to tell me if I did I cook it wrong or what. I let it soak in some water, half and half, like a cup, uh, half a cup of the potatoes, half a cup of the water, and then put some oil. And I think mine came out too hard. But I pounced on this. I got a couple, I gave my sister some, I gave one of the neighbors some. I kept one. Uh, this was also a dollar eighty-one at Sam's. Dollar eighty-one at Sam's. Okay, I don't have the dumplings. I had it, but I left it. I picked up on some dumplings. Are those this Asian dumplings, chicken, and they have them in pork. They have them in chicken. It's by a company called Bibigo. I think it's South Korean, and I love those things. It comes six in a pack, kind of like the fried rice. You microwave it for about 
three minutes and the the soy sauce normally soy sauce is salty but this one has a sweet taste you guys costco has some things when they have good stuff most of the things everything i would say 75 percent 85 percent but hey i wish they would have a little bit more sales like I'm just I'm just saying you guys okay moving on moving on this no one will admit their home is dirty no one will admit their home smells especially if you have pets we, we're not gonna admit that but I've been buying this and it comes to like this and I think if I'm not mistaken Costco has it as well and it's, it might be about the same price I picked it up the other day $8.98 Odo Band. It's not a masking agent. Instant action air freshener. I had learned, someone told me about this. It was an elderly man like almost 15 years ago. I think he had a little janitor business and he said he uses this for when he's cleaning up, especially apartments or places where uh, something was like a burn or a fire. And my microwave would never stop. I could never get rid of a, the burnt popcorn smell. Never. Use this stuff. Boom. Use this when the dogs make an accident. Boom. Perfect. They also have it in lavender. And the lavender is also good, but I prefer the original. So, and Costco does carry this one. And, I, and it's a good, it's a reasonable price. I think it's about $8.98, maybe Maybe if not eight nine ninety eight. So moving on, my, I'm getting to the last members mark. This is also almost like janitorial. This is, and I've used some of it because it was all the way to the top. This is the members mark dish detergent. I think I got it. I think it sells for like four ninety eight, if I'm not mistaken. Like four ninety eight. Where can you get? a big quality detergent for $4.98. So the last thing I want to say, I think I've pretty much covered everything, the food, the snacks. You guys, it's so much. So I talked about the water. I talked about the cereal. I want to talk about um, security and cleanliness. Clean, cleanliness. Which one I can't tell you because to me, they're both equal. I, I wouldn't say that Costco security is higher than Sam's. I wouldn't say it's, it's uh, they keep it more cleaner than Sam's, but I will tell you, if you go in there for rotisserie chicken, Sam's Club is the best. Believe me, on a Sunday, the lines be long. People have been fighting. I will watch because I will have my little booth set across from the chicken and the little, you know, police officer would come and they would call him to come, you know, secure the area because people was fighting. Hands down, Sam's Club, the chicken is the best. Hands down, the bakery is the best, at least in my opinion. Hot dogs pizza and all that the yogurt both of those in sam's and costco to me is similar uh something else i wanted to say at the end of the day if you're looking for a lot of reduced items sam's club it might be because they're connected to walmart i don't know talking about walmart i picked up on this right when everything started to open up, right when they started letting everybody back into the stores and you could get as much Lysol, 25 cents at Walmart, 25 cents. And I went back to get some more, it was all gone. I just like went back the next day and they had a whole aisle from here to here. When I went back the next day, it was gone. But getting back to uh, the stores, Costco, and I remember before I got my car or before I started working, I had asked one of my coworkers that work at Sam's because she had both of them, what was the difference? And she was like, they're both the same thing. They're, they're, they are, but they're not. Costco has a lot of organic, uh, gluten-free, non-GMO. Uh, I, I wouldn't really say it's just the rich go there. Or, you know, I know we see a lot of celebrities on TV. When you see them, they're showing them at Costco and whatnot. 
But anybody, uh, the card to me, the membership is a little higher. Uh, Sam's card, I think it's like 45 and then you can get the higher one. But what I like about Sam's, well, normally when we get it, um, I get a chicken, I get a pizza. The last time I picked up a Sam's card, they gave me $45 back off of the groceries. Uh, again, like I was saying, if you have kids, I've seen the children look clothes, baby clothes, carters, and, and items like that reduced very low. Yes, I was a demo person at both of the stores. I work uh, almost 10 years at Sam's, so I know a lot about, you know, Sam's, the food, because I've tested, tried everything. I went there a size 10, maybe, and not a 10 anymore, put it that way. Then work at Costco for about a year. And that's when I learned about all the, cause I didn't know, gluten-free, what's that? Non-GMO, what's that? Organic, I'm, I didn't know, what, what is that? But I learned all that. Uh, I also would say the floor department is bigger at Sam's and it's more of a variety. Um, the beauty products, the vitamins, it's about the same. The Protein drinks, I buy my nephews a lot of protein drinks, and I noticed when I went a while back, maybe about a year ago, because he likes Premier Protein, and I said, well, wait a minute, Costco one is 26, 20 something dollars, but the Sam's one it was like 12 or 14. And then I look, I was like, oh my goodness. So it's a difference, and it's, again, if you can, do, do like I did, do your homework, go and look. Take pictures, you know, talk to other people. I will tell you one thing, Costco ain't playing, baby. You're not going to go in Costco without your card. Now, Sam's, you can get away walking through that door without having your card, but Costco is not playing. They're not playing. So again, who should have a Sam's card? You have a daycare center. You have a bunch of kids. Are you just like me? You're greedy. You like sales. You like to be able to walk in the store, you know, and catch maybe a big bag of the um, kettle of popcorn for 99 cents. Or you like to see the Marie Callender, the four in a pack dinners for $2 on clearance. You like to go in and see some yoga pants for $12 and $10, the same ones that you see at Macy's for $35, $40. So it's for people who are maybe on fixed income. Um, again, uh, someone who just like to eat. Costco, you're, ve you're vegans, you're vegetarians, you're people who might be an older couple or a um, couple that don't have any kids. Uh, people may be watching their weight. I don't know, but I, I don't like the the... the label that people think oh it's just for you know celebrities or rich people who should have both cards if you're like me you like sales you're greedy you know one store might be closer to you and you need to just go in and out and get your cases of water you know one might be on the other end uh you know because each month they have each each month there's something different in their little coupon book you know so I hope the video helped you, my video helped you. I do wanna say a message about, you know, uh, the demo people, the little food workers. Uh, I know uh, when I work, it was so funny that people would be like, when I, when I went back to Sam's and they'll come and they said, well, we, when we go to Costco, they just have the food out and, 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 and when the food run out, they get another one out the train. They put it out. Why y'all make us wait? Why y'all don't? Why y'all don't do like they do at Costco? Keep the the trays going. Why we have to wait for 15, 20 minutes to, to get the chicken wings or to get the the Angus hamburgers? Because it's it's a slower pace at Sam's, I think, compared to Costco. It's faster. And also remember, we, the little food demo people, we're not on an assembly line. We're not a Jack in a Box Burger King worker. It's not that there's something wrong with it, but that's one of the reasons. And I would try to explain that to people when they come there like, 
you're out of the chicken wings, you out of the where else is your fried rice, you 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 you're out of the 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 fish, you're out of the ma'am. I can only put so many in this little oven, you know. I can't tell someone, hey, you've already had three, you can't get any more. Take this here, get it, you know. And then also. I felt like it, we wasn't pressure. I felt like when I was at Costco as a food demo person, if you did not sell a certain amount, so if I'm doing uh, hash browns, if I'm doing chicken wings, and I've got people just coming, coming, they're eating, but they're not buying, your manager could say, hey, you know, you didn't sell like the last person did, so you've got three demos next week. I'm going to take one of them from you because you didn't do, do your quota. We didn't do that at Sam's. You know, if you didn't meet your quota, you uh, had more people eating chicken wings than buying the, the, the boxes or, or having eaten more of the yogurt. My manager didn't come and take a, a demo from me. So if I was scheduled for two next week or whatever, she didn't come and take that away. Also, the last thing, I think with the epidemic, the pandemic has really made us health conscious, it, uh, made us uh, conscious of germs, of viruses, of just safety, just being clean. People will come when you put your, put the food on the tray. I don't know, I'm trying to, you know, a tray. Y'all know what the trays look like. We have the little cups and they'll grab a touch the rim. And I'll say, you know, ma'am, you know, can, do you want this? You know, cause you touched it. What do you mean? I didn't touch it. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't touch it. Well, basically you did. So when you grab it and you say, no, I don't want it. And you put it back or your little kid come and he's like touching, touching them all. Guess what? For safety, for hygiene reasons, the food worker or she should take them and throw them in the trash can. That's what you're supposed to do. If someone is coughing or sneezing, even though they're not at my table, again, for safety, for healthy reasons, you should throw it away. Uh, you do not realize the people that will come and grab and touch, and they just got out the bathroom. They did not wash their hands. I've seen people with their nails all black and dirty. I've seen people with all or whatnot. I've seen people with their hands or their fingers was bleeding, and they're touching stuff. And I'm really a picky person. I'm not an OCD person, but I'm really picky about food even before the pandemic. So I would, you know, throw it away. Your little thing here, when you're grabbing, it's touching the other cups on the tray. I'm sorry, I'm just like you. I don't know where you've been. You're not my mama, you're not my daddy, you're not my sister. I, I'm, I'm not fixing to get something that a person is their hands, their, their sleeves and touch the chicken wing or the little hamburger or the waffle. That's why we tell members, we are wearing gloves. Let me give it to you. Let me hand it to you um, because this is for your safety. And guess what? People get mad. People complain. Go get the manager. Um, I don't think I, I can recall or remember anybody getting fired because someone went and got, you know, the manager. Uh, I wanted to tell some funny stories that happened. This is going to be the last one. And this was something that happened at Costco. And I didn't see it, but one of my good friends, and I still go over there and I visit with people that I know from both stores. And this was during the holidays. Let's be nice. During the holidays, you guys. Customer wanted a particular cookie. The lady had a, a Christmas big box. You know, those pretty big boxes they have at Costco with about 10, 15 different little holiday cookies. But with this box, this tin box, all the cookies were white. They were all vanilla with different shapes, but there was only 10, five chocolate cookies. And they were big, about this big. And then the little white cookies were small. So of course the little kid came up, she wanted the biggest cookie, which was the chocolate cookie. So the demo lady told her, she said, uh, honey, you know, I don't have any more. Uh, and she said, oh no, 
I, I want this cookie. I want this one. So when the father walks up, he said, well, my child says she wants that cookie. She, she wants this cookie. So the demos lady is trying to explain to him, sir, we're only able to use the cookies in the tin. Once this tin is through, when I, once I'm through with all the other cookies, then I can open up another, another tin, another box of cookies. But I can't go and open another box so your daughter can get the chocolate one. He wasn't hearing that, you guys. They said he took his cell phone out, went to take a picture of my coworker. I'm sure I said my ex-coworker. And she took her tr the tray. She grabbed a tray from somewhere. And she put it up like this. And she was like, sir, you do not get to take a picture of me because I won't give your child a cookie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They went and got the manager. This man went, I don't know the, his age, he sounded like he was about 40 -ish. went and got the manager for the little demo lady because and she was about in her 60s or something because she would not give his daughter a particular cookie. She wouldn't open a, a, a new tray so the little girl can get this particular cookie. So just going forward, you guys, let's be nice to the demo ladies, to the food ladies, to, to, to just people... In general, that's working, that's out there trying to hustle. Let's just, let's be nice. Let's be in the holiday spirit. So again, I want to thank you for joining me. Yes, your girl. And Maria loves to talk. And I hope this video helped you to decide, make a decision. If you're going to get your Sam's card, if you're going to get a Costco card, or if you're going to get both card. But whatever, know that you can't just walk in Costco without showing the uh, woman at the door your card. Don't think that you can do that. You might be able to get away at Sam's. And you also might be able to get a $10 coupon or gift card at Sam's if you feel that you have really been slighted or hurt or something happened bad. But guess what? You're not going to be able to get a $10 gift card at costco i know i just had two incidents happen i'm not going to talk about it uh it was funny it was comical and when i asked the manager to be to, you know to you know what was he going to do to remedy this and he just looked at me he's like we don't give you know we don't give coupons we don't give gift cards we don't give you know lunches or, or dinners or whatever and I thought about it. I thought, well, just six months ago, I forgot what had happened. And I had went to one of the managers and he was like, you know what? Dinner on me. Just go to the food court and just order you and your niece, you know, y'all a couple of hot dogs, hamburgers or whatever. And I'm going to pay for it. It's, it's on me. And I'm thinking, this guy, that incident was lightweight compared to what had happened, which what had happened was, when we was checking out, I had my little sister with me, and uh, we each have a Costco card. She didn't have hers with me, so I was letting her buy on my card. And not the cashier, but the guy that was helping load the stuff, because they have two people that work on each register. So he took my, takes my sister basket and push it away from the the cashier i don't know he pushed it away from the, the machine you know as you put it on and i'm like wait a minute hey don't don't be grabbing no she needs to go up front she needs to go to she needs to go to customer service she needs i'm like uh-uh no 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 so i'm not gonna go into full detail but make a long story short when i got through speaking to the manager and we said we waited for him by the time we left it was 30 minutes he said we don't do that here you know i'm, I'm gonna talk to him and i was like where is he he's been gone 30 minutes if he went on the break where is the guy he went and hid himself but the manager came and he laughed it off like it was so funny so my sister said let's let him know just how funny it is we took our 300 dollars worth of stuff 300 dollars, went to the courtesy booth return it went to sam's i bought like 125 dollars worth of stuff basically the same things that was at Costco that I returned. And when I looked at the things I bought, I was like, you know what? I just saved $30 because the stuff here was a little bit cheaper. Plus, I was able to find two new things that they didn't have 
at Costco. Same thing with my sister. So that's just, you know, little, as they say, FYI. But please, please, please do not hold it against me for speaking my truth. Enjoy your holidays. I wish you guys peace, love, prosperity. Be blessed.